So we've talked about how the tracks work and how the mixer works, and the next thing you're going to probably want to mess around with is sync. So the sync menu is right down the middle of the screen there. You'll see a little lock icon, and then uh, in the default mode, the way I've got it right now, there's a little circle with a finger in it, and that's uh, part of the way that the tracks play back. So I'm going to use the existing tracks I've already got. I've got this, uh, this track here. Uh, I've got my levels turned down, so we'll fade them back in. We learned how to do that when we were doing the mixer preview. Okay, so I got all these tracks. I'm going to bring them down and bring them way down here. I can talk. All right. So I've got this all mixed going on here. But you'll notice if I press stop on this track, the second one up there, and then I press play again, it puts it on time, right? No matter when I press it, it's always on time. So I'm just going to stop this one here. That's because the sync is locked. If I unlock it, basically just tap on the lock icon, now it's unlocked. So when I press all play, you can hear it's not lined up. I can put it totally off time. It's no longer connected to the metronome. Now, of course, when I put lock again, back it goes on time. So it's really interesting that you can actually end up, I'm just going to mute the metronome here, it's really interesting that you can take things off time. So if you had something that was maybe a bit more spatial or ethereal, you might want to take it off time and let it just kind of float around the timing of the song. Within the sync menu as well, there's that little circle I was talking about with the finger in the middle. So let's take a look at that really quick and I'll show you how those different modes work. It starts out with the loop mode, which is literally just, it's going to loop, it's going to play once, get through it here, and then it'll just play again. Okay, so it plays once, goes through, does it again. If I push and hold on the, the button here, I now have some options on this little radial menu. So let's look at the, uh, the next one up there, which is a scrubbing mode. This allows me to actually place my finger here and scrub, so I can... So, let's hear that in context. So you can actually take that track and you can scrub it around and do interesting things with it. Of course, the way that the scrubbing sounds will be different based on the audio that's actually within that track. So some, some tracks will sound really great when you're scrubbing around and some will sound downright weird. And that can be either a benefit or a detriment depending on how you're wanting to use the music. The other way to use the, uh, the, the scrubbing here is to use more like a shots mode where every time you press and hold it triggers the loop but when you let go it stops playing it back. So let's get the other ones playing. So we got them all going here. I'm going to stop this one and then... So you can see how that one, it's only playing as my fingers held down. And it plays from where I touch. And if I unlock it, then obviously it's going to be even more off of the metronome and the timing of the song. So there's a lot of creative freedom in there in using the lock and the unlock and the various different ways to scrub and do shots and do the looping mode. It's really up to you to mess around with it a lot and figure out how those things work within the context of the song you're trying to create.